Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in last lecture we have seen what is encapsulation is all about. Now we are going to see third and very important paradigm of object oriented programming that is inheritance. So inheritance, the name itself says something, inherit, right? What, is, what do you mean by inherit? It taking something which is already there, there and using it again. That do you mean by, uh, that is nothing but an inheritance. Okay, let's take an example of a property. I'm having a property of my own, but some property I'm, I have inherited from my parent. Okay, or grandparent, right? So, that is, uh, what is it? I'm using my own property as well as I'm going to use some properties of my ancestors or the parents, right? So, that is nothing but an inheritance all about. Through inheritance, what we are achieving, it's a reusability. Okay, now how it is being done, we will see. So, basically, if I'm having a particular object okay let's say ob1 and if i'm having another object ob2 it is having some attributes and it is also having some behavior this object too is also having some attributes and some behavior now the attributes and the behavior of one object or of, of one entity I can use in another object okay and that is nothing but an inheritance okay so this object 2 will be having attributes and the behavior of object 1 as well as it is having attributes and behavior of object 2 it's of its own so would i say something like i'm acquiring the properties of object 1 and also i'm having my own property specialized property which is nothing but uh, of object 2 okay so what do you mean by inheritance is inheritance is object acquires the properties of another object okay so uh, let's take an example if i say this object one is as my um, let's say this is class or this is kind of a bird and if i'm here having let's say parrot so this object 1 is a bird and this object 2 is a parrot. So I will say that parrot is inheriting all the features that any bird is showing. Right? Plus this parrot is having its own features as well. That is some behavior and some attributes that only parrot shows. So uh, in this case, this bird entity is known as parent and this parrot I can say as child okay so I can I say something like this parrot is a bird so the relationship between these two objects is a is a kind of a relationship okay so inheritance this kind of a inheritance is a is a kind of a inheritance. So two objects shows is a kind of a relationship in this. Now we will see another example of the same. Now let's take an example of a car. Okay. So I'm having one car which is I-10 which is an ordinary kind of a car. Ordinary kind of a car means it provides some basic features. Okay. We can have a luxurious car also like a Mercedes or a BMW. But my car is a kind of an ordinary car. Okay. 
so i will say this i10 which i am having it's a kind of a ordinary car this ordinary car it's a type of a car i will say that car is any four wheeler okay we can have uh, uh, another type of four wheelers also and i can say uh, this four wheeler is a kind of a vehicle okay now this is known as a hierarchy okay and at each level you if you see there is some reusability happening so basically any four wheeler is taking all the characteristics of a vehicle any car is taking all the uh, uh, features of a four wheelers any ordinary car is having all the features of a car any i10 is having all the features of i10 now as i told i can say i10 is a kind of a is a kind of a four wheeler or i can say i10 is a vehicle so the relationship between them is a is a relationship now in this hierarchy whenever i am saying about a common features or common behavior common attributes i would say i am talking in general right so what is the general most a uh, behavior or attributes provided entity over you and that is nothing but a vehicle so whenever i am talking in terms of general attributes and general behavior that thing is nothing but generalization a general most object or entity over you is a vehicle now as i told uh, this particular item is having all the features of vehicle four wheeler car and ordinary car it's also having its some special attributes and behavior which only i10 can show okay so this is nothing but a more specific features and uh, uh, behavior i'm talking about so that is nothing but a specialization okay so we, uh, we have seen why this particular inheritance is being used it is being used for first of all reusability reusability it's some attributes and behavior which is already there in the parent and i will be inheriting it in me and i can have my own attributes as well okay so that is all about inheritance now there is one more type of inheritance we are going to talk about and that is nothing but a containment okay so what do you mean by containments let's take an example of a same i'm having let's take an example a room okay now this room object is consist of various object over inside it okay so this room can have some chairs this room can have some uh, tables and so on so room as an object is having some small object inside it or i would say in a environment in a given environment i can have a room chairs and tables build separately what i'm trying to say is chairs and tables tables these objects i can make differently on in different place okay and later on i can add them inside this room can i do that yes i can do that so when i'm adding this particular object inside my room okay i'm con this room is now containing another chair or an table okay or i would say now this room has a chair this room has a table okay so one object referring or containing another object inside it is nothing but a containment so containment basically allows me 
to build objects separately and then later on I can include them or use them inside another object as an ob attribute okay so basically it gives me reusability right so this is a that's why this is a one kind of a inheritance okay so we will see what contentment is all about so contentment is object that contains inside another object as an attribute for example room contains fan and furniture it is also known as aggregation and one more thing we have to understand the relationship between two object is always a has a relationship okay so that's what all about inheritance thank you